Hey guys, Naturally Nelsie here today and I have to just tell you guys a very quick disclaimer. I was, well I am now doing it, but I did a review for this product last night and you guys know I always do my reviews with, uh, you know, trying to show you how I use the product in my hair, but for some reason all that footage got deleted, so I have to re-record and just backtrack and do everything, every, uh, everything like that. So yeah, I'm just starting now, but basically from my, I think it was my July curl, uh, curl kit, I have received this product and this is the new Eco Custard uh, original uh, custard for the hair you guys requested me to do a review on it so you know I'm doing it now it's for all hair types it's alcohol free flexible hold and it's supposed to be extreme conditioning and everything like that so yeah this is basically the product right here um, the consistency of it like it uh, it's a typical custard as you guys can see it has like that kind of jello kind of feel to it um, the texture of it I would say you know it feels like a custard like I said it's a very loose runny consistency kind of like a conditioner but like i said it has that you know uh, movement with the uh product to it so what i did last night is i basically you know put it in my hair i did uh what was it this is like a week old kind of hair i put it in my hair last night and i basically did these twists all around it 16 twists all around and i basically did my regular you know nighttime routine with I moisturize my hair, you know, I water and I uh, put my oils in it. When I was putting, you know, the custard through my hair, I noticed that I did kind of make my hair, uh, you know, shrink up a little bit. If you guys aren't familiar with the Eco brand, Eco Styler Gel, I use the olive one. I love their gel. It's pretty awesome. So it's basically that same kind of concept. When I put it in my hair, I noticed that, you know, my hair did kind of, you know, start to define with curls as if I was using gel. But um, to my surprise, once I actually did begin to twist my hair, I noticed that I had a lot of, you know, length to my twist. Even though my hair did shrink up when I actually did twist it, twisted, uh, you know, my hair, it did stay, you know, elongated. And I usually don't notice that, especially with custards. They definitely make my hair, you know, shrink up. And even on this side right here, you know, I still notice a bit more of length. This side really shrinks up a lot. Like, you guys can see... My hair is pretty much the same length when you stretch it, but this side has a lot more, you know, uh, shrinkage to it, if you will. So I was, that's nice. <laughs> so I was, you know, pretty taken aback with the shrinking properties and elongating properties. Basically, take this down and you guys will see the curl definition and you guys will actually see if it is extreme conditioning like it does says. I'm not going to tell you guys about the ingredients. I'll leave that down below for you guys to check on your own. And as far as the smell... From what I remember from my curl kit experience, it has a very chemical smell. Like, there's really no fragrance to it. It just has a generic, you know, standard chemical smell. So all I'm going to do now, this twist is funny. All I'm going to do now is basically just take some of this right here. And I'm just going to unravel the first twist and show you guys, you know, the definition and everything like that with the curling custard. Now I'm just going to take a twist. Now, I'll take this one down since this is like the most elongated one. I'm just going to do my same method as usual. And that's pretty much the outcome of my twist. So I'll just unravel it and see exactly how that looks. So one thing I noticed is that my hair is definitely, um, I would have to say, stretched or elongated, whatever you want to call it. It has, um, I wouldn't say the hold is very strong, but it has a nice hold on it where, you know, you can see the definition of my hair even though I unraveled it. I'll take another one down and show you guys in the front so that you can see that. If you guys want to see my updated twist out routine, I'll leave that video down below where you can see that. So this is that front twist right there. I would say it has a really nice hold on it. It's not too strong or anything like that. And this is the next twist. All right, so now I'm finished fluffing my hair. You guys see my twists are unraveled. And now I have to say that I do like the product. Um, my hair doesn't feel dry, and that's usually why I don't like to use customs because they tend to make my hair dry. They have nice definition, but I don't like the dry hair. I don't notice that my hair is dry. I think if a product was drying, I would feel it. But yeah, my hair is not too dry. I do have, you know, like a psych hold. You guys can see my curl definition and everything like that. I have to say that this product definitely does have an elongating factor on your twist. I use it on um, old, um, it was like a week old kind of twist out, but usually with using custards, it did make my hair shrink up when I was in it originally uh, twisting it. But when it dried, it stayed stretched, elongated. So it has a very nice stretching quality um, in the product. And this is basically how my hair looks. You know, it's bouncy. 
it has life, it moves, my curls look nice, they feel nice, it doesn't have a bad smell or anything like that. So I would have to say, you know, I really do like the product. I think it's pretty cool. I don't have any cons with it. When I was taking my um, twist down, I did notice a slight, you know, bit of flaking. I don't know if that's from, you know, recent products that I've had in my hair. Because like I said, it's an old twist out. But you guys can let me know if you experience flaking. Maybe that's not with this product. I am going to use it again, you know, to see how it uh, fares on hair that's, you know, freshly washed, dry, and everything like that. To compared to having a whole I would say that it definitely does moisturize your hair like the what is it it moisturizes your hair like the Shea Moisture Curl and Hanty Smoothie and I think that this has a slightly stronger hold than the uh, Curl and Hanty Smoothie from Shea Moisture so if I had to compare I would say it's comparable to that product the only thing about the packaging I don't even know if you guys can see that but if you're using any type of oils or moisturizer if you could try to rub this packaging off because I'm going to show y'all. Do y'all see that? If you touch this bottle and you get it on your hands, that will be getting in your hair. I don't have a con with the product itself, but if they can work on that packaging as far as like the, uh, you know, the, I don't know if that's like a dye or color from the packaging, that would be awesome. Maybe they could opt for a plastic kind of sticker packaging as opposed to the um, imprinted stencil kind of packaging. I enjoyed using the to hold it like this <laughs> i enjoy using the eco cusser you know, how it was for you did you enjoy it did you you know did it work for your hair all of that but i definitely like it and i will be using it again so with that being said i'll show you guys how i styled my hair in some pictures and i'll see you all in the next video bye